Welcome to a new and beautiful week. This is Headlines Nigeria on NITV Abuja. I am Shegun Babarati. I have summaries of news, politics, business and sports from Nigerian dailies. In Punch newspaper, Bill Gates in Nigeria to meet Jonathan, the founder of Microsoft and co-chair of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Mr. Bill Gates, has arrived in Nigeria. Gates has already visited Kano, where he held talks with Governor Ibrahim Shakurao, the Emir of Kano, Haji Adobayero, local government chairman, and other traditional leaders in respect of the progress made in stemming the spread of the polio virus in the country. He is expected in Abuja on Monday, that's today, where he will also hold talks with President Goodluck Jonathan and health officials. 21,000 Nigerians working in Italy. The Italian ambassador to Nigeria, Mr. Roberto Colamin, has said that no fewer than 21,000 Nigerians are currently working in Italy. According to Reuters, Colamin gave the figure in Abuja at the weekend during the celebration of Italy's National Day. And this day's newspaper, FG cancels Abuja second runway project. The controversial Abuja Airport second runway contract awarded to Gidersburg in Nigeria PLC has been cancelled by the federal government. Also, the Ministry of Aviation has been asked to re-advertise it and ensure that due process is followed in the bidding process. Jonathan orders past sector reforms fast-tracked. Ministry of Power yesterday said President Goodluck Jonathan has directed it to commence full implementation of the Power Sector Reform Act in order to create room for private sector participation and efficient service delivery to Nigerians. The President's charge came just as the average national power generation by the power holding company of Nigeria hovered at 3,760 megawatts with an off-peak of 3,250 megawatts as of last Friday. Erufai Modibo Alero allocated 18,445 plots. Chairman of the Ministerial Committee on Reposition in Land Administration, FCC, Senator Saido Dansadao, said weekend that three former ministers of the Federal Capital Territory, Malam Nasir Erufai, Ali Modibo, and Umar Adamo Alero, jointly allocated a total of 18,445 plots of land from January 1, 2007 to April 2010. Fresh controversy trails constitution amendment. As a harmonized report of the amendments to the 1999 constitution leaves the National Assembly for the 36 states, Houses of Assembly this week, a fresh controversy has arisen over the last stage of the process of the constitution review. And in Vanguard newspaper, two Uniport students killed over a hundred Naira dead. Two students of University of Port Harcourt River State were killed on the school campus during a fight with members of Man of War following a disagreement over 100 Naira to complete the full payment of a cell phone allegedly sold to one of the students by a Man of War member. For the $3 million scam, reps protest alleged plots to kill report. The House of Representatives Committee on Public Procurement is apprehensive that a damning report by its committee against Total Upstream Nigeria Limited, which was laid on the floor of the House on 17 December 2009, is singled out for the trash can. Now we go to politics in Vanguard newspaper. Obasanjo backs Jonathan for 2011. Former President Olu Shegun Obasanjo yesterday said that there was nothing wrong in President Goodluck Jonathan contesting the 2011 presidential elections. He added that he had not found any reason why Jonathan should not be in office beyond 2011 as president. 2011, I am candidate to beat Atiku. As a battle of wits between North and South rages over 2011 presidency, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar said that he was the most popular and acceptable candidate to beat in the contest. This came just as moves by some Northern elders to scare President Goodluck Jonathan out of the race intensified yesterday. And on Punch newspaper, PDP presidential candidates may emerge October 20. There are plans by the People's Democratic Party to ensure that its presidential candidate emerged on October 20, 2010. A top party source said that the party was favorably disposed to a proposal by the PDP reform group that a party's candidate should emerge early in order for him to have enough time for electioneering. When we move over to business news, punch newspaper, more Indian telecoms, high investment.
employment in Nigeria. There are indications that the Nigerian telecoms industry may experience an upsurge in investments by Indian telecoms in the coming months. This assumption, according to experts, is premised on the full representation of the Indian Government Telecoms Operators and Telecoms Expert Promotion Council at a recently concluded West African Information and Communications Technology Congress and Exhibition in Lagos. Flashola explores business opportunities with German community. The German business community in the port city of Hamburg on Friday hosted the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babatunde Fashola, and other state officials on discussions on opportunities for business partnership between Lagos and Hamburg. Experts moved to brainstorm on oil gas taxation. The taxation rumble in the oil and gas industry is said to be streamlined as professionals brainstorm on the gray areas. A representative of a firm of human capital developers said about 200 professionals, including accountants, financial controllers, tax managers, tax accountants, legal officers, financial analysts, portfolio managers, and credit and investment analysts were expected to participate in a program scheduled for next month to enable them have the much needed expertise to deal with issues on the taxation of oil and gas in the sub region. Reforms will ensure credit flow sustainability, Sanusi. The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Lamido Sanusi, has reiterated that the various reforms being put in place in the banking sector will guarantee sustained credit flow. Naira appreciates at interbank official markets. The value of the Naira appreciated at both the interbank and official segments of the foreign exchange market by remaining stable at the parallel market in the week ended June 4, 2010. Now we move over to sports news. Punch newspapers stampede as Eagles hit Korea 3-1. Nigeria yesterday defeated North Korea 3-1 in a pre-World Cup warm-up match played at the Makulong Stadium, Johannesburg. The match was temporarily stopped early in the second half by the match commissioner when a pass reached him that at least 20 people, including one policeman, were injured after a stampede broke out at the stadium. Beware, Kano wants Argentina. Nigeria captain Juan Cuocano has won Argentina not to write them off ahead of their opening FIFA World Cup match in Johannesburg in just under 10 days' time. Don't expect much from Lagerback, Amir Simaka. Six days to Nigeria's first group match with Argentina in Johannesburg, the composition of Las Lagerback's team for the World Cup is still raising a lot of dust in the country. The exclusion of Ike Uche and Victor Nechebe and the inclusion of Atlanta 96 gold medal winning captain Wanko Okanu in the 23-man list for the 2010 World Cup, which kicks off on June 11, has attracted a lot of flux for Swede Super Eagle manager. Eagles will miss Mikel Epo. A former Green Eagles midfielder Friday Echo has lamented the inability of Mikel Obi to be at the World Cup due to his knee injury, saying the Chelsea midfielder will be greatly missed at the tournament. Mikel could not recover fully from his injury since joining the team two weeks ago after it was reported that his club's medical team has certified him not fit for the World Cup. And that's it on this edition of Headlines Nigeria. Thanks for logging on.